feel the touch of death out on that track. That's why you're here, no? I'm ready. a well-earned victory. One that merits speaking face to face. Nell? You have to admit, I put on a good show. Except for the part where you try to run me off the track. Our reunion with an old partner deserves more than a handshake, don't you think? We killed bandits together, Nell, for different reasons. I'm not sure we were partners. I am, now more than ever. Especially since we've moved on to something even more entertaining. So, the mask, the armor... You knew the Tanakh would never let a Karja join a race. When I returned to the Forbidden West, I knew that walking the clan lands would attract as much blood as my bow could handle. And it did. But I realized that if I wanted to ride with the Tanakh, it wouldn't do to indulge in petty duels. I mean, you can't race with the dead. So you restrained yourself? Sort of. There's no restraint on the track. Who knows, though? One day, the mask may no longer be necessary. After all, everyone here knows me by the speed of my mount and the sting of my arrows and the Tanakh to respect victory even more than they cherish their feuds. But for now, it keeps the children entertained. How are you even here? I won't bore you with the details. It's enough to say that you left Meridian a land of peace. And a man with a bow can go restless in such a place, so I traveled my old haunts for a while. You've been to the Forbidden West before? During the Red Raids, yes. I have fond memories of that campaign. I'm not sure fond is the word I'd use. I did what was acceptable at the time. Some might call it excess, but I think the Tanakh understood. They 
relish the kill, and grasp the need of it. That's a language we can both speak. I wish I could say you were wrong. So... racing? Ah, yes. A surprise for me as well. By chance or fate, I found myself wandering the desert, thirsty for a thrill. And then I saw the riders. A glint of steel at high speed, metal haunches splashed with blood. <sighs> I admit I was smitten. To ride the edge between life and death, now that is a beautiful thing. I guess that's one way to describe it. You always said that the thrill of the kill was too sharp to deny. It's hard to believe you've left that life behind. I still hear the call when the blood boils and the bowstring tightens. But then I race. The threat of every turn, each well-placed strike, the arrow that grazes the skin. It's a dance that holds death close at the perfect distance, repeatable and therefore perpetual. And I get to share it with fellow riders who appreciate the flavor of blood and steel. It's enough to soothe a man's demons. I believe you know this, or else you wouldn't be here. I think my demons are slightly different from yours, Nell. I'm glad you found your thing, Nell. Relieved, actually. I think. Don't worry. Nothing will ever quite replace our partnership. I wasn't worried. You know, you could always join us. Live without the restraints of whatever narrow path you've carved out for yourself these days. Thank you for the offer, but I think I'm good. As expected. But you can always find me on the track if you need a release. And I promise to never go easy on you. I know that's supposed to mean something nice, so, um... Hey, Red Teeth! Stop hogging all the attention. Aloy, you want to celebrate with us too, right? I'll leave you to it. See you when you feel the need, Aloy. So, you gonna tell us what's under the mask or what? Sorry, winners only. Worth a try. Don't celebrate for too long. Tracks don't race themselves, you know. Just try not to kill each other before I get there. Hey, Aloy. You won the big one. Don't forget to take your winnings. Left them in that chest for you. There were this many ruins down here. Yeah, 